to say this again because it has to do here, it applies here with the second commandment of money that tells us that money hath is, and if you say the wrong thing about money, money will flee from thee. 99.9% .9 of the people talk money away from them. 99.9% .9 of the people think money away from them. Most people are in what I call self-conflict. A hyphenated term. Sister Mary is going to write that on the screen so that we can get rid of all self-conflict. The absolute truth of the matter is that you are really your only enemy. You are even your own devil. Oh, since I'm way over the edge, <laughs> you see, what the devil is not a separate entity. Why? Because I am God and there is no other. The devil is the belief that there is an other. The devil is self-conflict. That's another way to define it. And when the devil is cast out, it means that your self-conflict has been cast out. And you are no longer, for example, in the area of money, trying to get money, working your behind to get money, and yet kicking it away from you with your mind. And this is an illustration of the self-conflict that so many people have. They work physically and on the material level for things, and yet on the mental, psychic level, they work against themselves. That's the devil. Not an other either. Well, some more heresy from uptown. There is but one presence and one power, God, the good, divine, love, omnipotent. But listen to this, you see. I am is absolutely God, and there is no other but I am. Because hold on to your hats now. Strap down your wigs. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. You see, I am the devil too. Yeah. Reverend Ike, are you saying that God is, oh, he, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> the devil is mind's misunderstanding of God. The devil is mind's misunderstanding that there is only one power. So the devil is not an entity and other. I am God. How many others are there? What did the divine principle say? I am God, and beside me there is no other. And the one thing that kept getting the children of Israel into trouble all through the wilderness is the fact that they would go after other gods. And you'd be surprised how many gods that religious folks have. Christians. Why, a lot of Christians have more regard for what they call the devil. <laughs> Satan's on my track, and he's trying to turn me back. I gotta make this journey somehow. <laughs> I'll watch it now. I'm gonna say something else, and I'll get back to the money. Preachers, watch how you fight the devil. 
when you fight the devil, you ignite the devil. When you fight the devil, you give him your power. And then it comes back at you and you think it's an other, but it's not an other. It's your power that you've put out there with your belief. But you don't recognize it when it comes back at you. Again, mostly people don't realize when their thoughts become things. And they think that their thoughts are something else. But like the old spiritual said, it's me. It's me. It's me, oh Lord. 